I like to list myself as an artist. You know, people try to give you these labels. Now they're coming in telling these folks that they makers and all that. I'm not a damn maker. I ain't making nothing. I'm documenting this particular culture that's in my head. My name is Charles Smith, and I'm a ceramic artist located in Mobile, Alabama. Everything got to be perfect. You got to have the perfect color. You got to have the perfect balance. You got to have the perfect shape. And that shape is normally is a, is, is a, a female form. So you're going into that Afrocentric, I'm celebrating the female. I had a situation with a, an organization here in Mobile. Now I was called and they said they wanted me to do a uh, bicycle rack. And I said, I don't do bicycle racks. When they came in for that first walkthrough, which was about maybe three months after, they said, that's not a bicycle rack, is it? <laughs> no, that is not a bicycle rack. That's where the three sisters come in. It ended up over at the city county building. Everybody said it was pretty, it was cute, but nobody asked what the story was about. So I just kept quiet, because if I had told them that in the beginning, then that would've got done. That it was three queens, three African queens, three sisters of high esteem at the city county building. Justice symbols from the African's perspective. When you start looking at the history of the abuse of black women around the world, think about all that enslavement and people being snatched from the continent and mothers looking for their child. And they died looking for their child. All these ghosts, all these souls that's out there looking for their children. This gets stuck in my head. And then you get the Dora. We just took a African Shanti fertility doll image. And then we did the Bantu knots, braids, because they used them when they were enslaved. Those braids was a map. It would tell you where to go if you need to run. So when you start looking at it, people start telling the story, then you start doing your own research, you'll see all this. That's come from a civilized group that know how to communicate without words. I paired with Frank, because I'm not a welder. I had that design hand and knowing how clay worked and knowing how Frank worked is that can we transfer those textures, that, that look of what I do into milk? He amazed me with some things that he could do. Well, the significance of this piece is talking about Africa town and their roots from the uh, Benin, from Africa. Africa town is a settlement in North Mobile County where 32 of the 110 captive slaves from Benin, Dahomey, were brought to the United States. It's the last known vestige of where a ship was landed. The ship has been found. It validates the historical story that had been told secretly. If you can tell a story secretly. We did it in symbols. 
So this is more to read into the history of it. You know, when people can look at it, it don't have to have a direct meaning, but when you just see these symbols and the uh, color variations and the texture, you're getting that ancestral spirit. These are things that you can communicate with. You start getting into your real African roots that, in my case, I'm the, the artist of the, of the state. That's my job is to, is, is to record what's going on for the next generation. My thinking was, how can I get an image in Mobile? Because they didn't have any black image that I knew of. The commissioner was Monsieur Lugood, set up this stuff for us to, uh, to work on these different projects. Retirement, I thought one time it was in the cars. It's just a creative call and can't get rid of it. My head is always spinning. I got a lot to say, but you got to find the people that's going to listen.